Hi there, welcome back to Bold Buggers. I'm Steve. Um, today's video a little bit different. I uh, had a friend of mine that asked me to help him out with a parrot. Um, for those of you who don't know what a parrot is, basically it's just an easy, it's a little tool that we make just to uh, make things easier to be able to test the, the, the strength of alcohol as the stall's running. Um, I'll show a little pick here somewhere. <laughs> right, so, um, he's given me a few things to, so what I've got here, I've, I've already um, um, worked out according to what he needs to try and modify the, the parrot um, as to how big and, and how long it needs to be. So having said that, um, I'll show you the plans I did and and then how I got you the dimensions here. All right, so the parts I need to get this made, I'm going to use two different sizes of piping. One of the copper pipe I'm using is the 15 mil. All right, and the nice thin one is what we in, in South Africa use mainly for our, our uh, plumbing in the houses. That goes to your sinks and stuff like that. A 22 mil pipe, slightly bigger. This, I've chosen this width because um, my friend's, um, the, the, the alcohol tester he's got uh, will fit nicely in here. Um, then I have, at the top of the still, I've got two, what we call reducers. So this is a 15 mil to a, uh, I think this is a 22. I'll, ch I'll edit that. Um, and then this is a, a 22 mil, this is 22 here, to a 35 mil here. So basically, these slide on to the pipes. Okay, we'll just stop that from rolling. So they fit on there. So it's 15 to I think 28, and this is a 22 to a 35, if that makes sense. Okay, then I also have a T-piece. This is a 22 by 15 by 15. I have an elbow, which is the um, a 15 mil elbow, 90 degrees. I also have a 15 mil stop end. Basically, they use this in plumbing. It's just to stop the water from getting to a point. If you've got a, a, a point that's waiting to be used at a later date, they'll put a stop end on it to stop the water from flowing through there, or they've cut something off. Um, that we're going to use as a, as a base. I also have a... A piece of copper plate um, you can see this I'm actually working because my counter is wood I've put this down it's part of a, a geezer copper geezer that I cut up um, and made a, a still out of so this is the excess so I cut out a piece of plate this is going to be my base um, for for his parrot I also have then a six mil copper tube this is what the guys use for in in the aircon industry so it's it's not always accessible, but if you've got a mate that does air cons, uh, get him to cut you a piece off. In the picture that you saw, um, there's a, a, a probably used a, a 15 mil in that picture. That works just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it looks prettier when there's a nice little thin, thin spot coming out of it. So I'm going to use that for this video. As far as tools are concerned, I've got a pup cutter, um, a common plumbing device. Um, it works very easy. You just uh, put your, your piece of copper pipe, you just open it up, this slides through, you tighten it up again, and then as you turn it, this wheel presses in, and as you rotate this around, then you just tighten this up, and this wheel cuts into the, into the metal, into the copper. Um, if you don't have one of these, it's not really a fuss. You can maybe use a, a hacksaw, um, although a hacksaw can make a little bit of, of of scratching and all that sort of things um, but um, the other th thing that comes in handy now is the sandpaper uh, it's, I've got 150 grit here, it's fine you need this not only to get rid of any burring of the copper on the inside of the pipe or if you're cutting with a hacksaw you will ha you'll find that there'll be like little pieces that are, are, are jagged on the edges you want to smooth that off so you don't have any of that 
flowing out through into your bottling or into your into your jars that you're collecting with so the sandpaper also um, when you're using um, the solder and the flux you need the sandpaper to to basically clean the edges um, if you don't then the lead is not going to stick to it properly so you um, you'll see in a video as we go along I will clean the ends and um, make sure that they're nice and clean so that the solder and the flux will stick to it and there'll be a nice a nice one. Okay, um, that's all the pieces cleaned up. I'm happy with that. I just want to say that on 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 this piece here, you on on the um, reducers inside the reducer. There's normally a little lip on the inside, um, which uh, you can see it's still on here. So what happens is, is when you put it in, it will only go as far as that. Now with what I need to do is this is just filling up here so that is fine I can leave it as is but with this one what I need to do is is I need for the for the liquid to flow down this pipe and then it will fill up this one and then it needs to to overflow so I need that little lip to to uh, I need to wear that uh, grind that down so that I can push the pipe straight through and then I normally just leave it just slightly slightly over um, that way um, I can you can get to your your um, um, alcohol tester fine um, and it works out so to get rid of that lip all I did was use a metal drill bit and the drill and just run it around inside a bit and and then it until this fits then you sort it. Doesn't take much effort. A couple of minutes and you sort it. Okay, so I'm happy now that everything is sorted. What I am going to do, just to I think make it easier for the video. I hope this works. I haven't tried it like. I've made a few parrots in my day, but I've never made one on a video. So this is going to be interesting. So how we're going to go is put them together. Now, the reason why I do this too is so that, maybe it's better to put it that way. Um, all right, so I need, um, I have, because I need the height for Rob's um, collection containers, um, I've extended this. This is a, a good, good thing to keep in mind that um, if you just make it as is and you put the, the stop in closer down here, it makes this part. Um, a lot shorter which also means is that you're limited onto the size of the jars that you can put underneath the spout which is going to basically sit like that so um, he's he's got quite big jars um, and prefers to have it like that if um, so he would rather have the height um, than be fussy on what he's collecting in um, other thing too is, is if he wants to use smaller containers then he can just prop up um, with like a block or something like that underneath the, the collection container. So this allows him to be able to use what he's currently using and then still um, utilize other products. But that's basically going to be our store and then this will be attached at the bottom here. Um, so it'll stand up and, and that's, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add sol um, uh, flux into all the pieces um, and um, the other th reason too I might as well mention is the reason why I like to do this is because of the different heights of these two if I lay it flat then it's um, your your um, parrot is going to look out of sync and, and look a little bit odd so this keeps it almost in line um, 
because this one it, I might be a millimeter out or so but that I can just tweak just when and heat up and just bend it a little bit um, but because this is lying within the slot and this one's lying on top of the this bar here it means that it's almost almost in line I might be a fraction out but uh, hopefully not we'll see when we when we get there okay so it's a matter of taking apart and flexing up the little pieces and then put it back together again so I'm just gonna um, with flux again sort of like the using the hydrogen peroxide for cleaning your still if you have sensitive hands then wear gloves or a brush works just as fine I just like to use my fingers it's <laughs> maybe it's just because I'm an idiot a sucker for punishment um, it gets it does get messy just keep a cloth on hand and, and to wipe it do not wipe on your clothes it's gonna put holes in your clothing but I like the reason why I like the um, using my finger is that I can make sure that I'm not like sort of over overdoing it and I can restrict the amount that I'm putting on you don't want too much flux otherwise it's gonna make a mess um, so I'm going to put that in I'm just going to add them. Oh, crap. Don't need that on the inside. I need that on the other side. All right. So that's on. I'm going to put some in there. And some on here. Okay. We can get back on. Some on the outside here. Some of the inside on this one. <laughs> back then I need some on that you'll see when we heat up the um, the gas and we're heating up the flux that you'll see where it, it tends to clean off and and help the, the copper I'm not going to worry about that because I like I said I am going to clean it afterwards so but if you don't clean it up afterwards it will even leave fingerprints and stuff like that so all right so this is pretty much i'm happy here um, a little bit on the outside of this one and then we should be good to go okay so that's my that's my still i'm happy with that setup mm.
Okay, with that done, I'm just going to give it a wipe. It's going to be hot. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so you can see here too with the, the colouring of, of where the solder was, I'm going to do... Uh, uh, you, as you might have noticed, I didn't do this one yet. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check first that I'm happy. Um, and then I'll probably put it onto the plate. And then where that's lining up, then see as to what we are doing. And that's actually looking pretty good. So, all right. So, this is still nice and hot. Yeah, I made a few messes with the solder not easy <laughs> I must admit it's not easy doing this when you're on camera <laughs> all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll clean that up with a bit of sandpaper and whatnot afterwards and then give it a give it a shine all right um, again the reason why I haven't done this is what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just measure I want to make sure that that is pointing nicely away actually that's looking good but I'm gonna just reflux that and then put that on and then I know I'm happy to go with my my parrot um, with with the the spot. Or oh, actually, I might I oh, did plan on doing the spot first. All right, I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to get this cooled down a bit, um, and then I'm going to we're going to cut this, add it to the top part, and and then we we go for away then. Cool. All right, hopefully uh, that wasn't too painful to watch. <laughs> oh. All right, that's that done. Okay, so I've mounted the parrot. I'm going to put that over here now. Let that stand for a bit. Yeah, I think I need to redo the top part. And I'm going to cut this piece. Okay, this this cup is quite um, is quite um, soft, so I'm gonna just be careful with it and rotate it a couple of times. Go. Okay, then I want to there's a little burr thing inside just to clean out that part and this part. Okay. 
same paper. Okay, so that's now a nice tight fit. I'm going to go with that. Okay, some flex. Alright, and that should be good to go. Okay. Just check to see, it looks like it is. Um, just want to make sure that there's no leaks there, otherwise, I'll have alcohol running down the side. And we'll check that out now, but I can always touch it up afterwards. Okay, then back to this. We are going to give this just another quick sand. So, the two. Okay, now for the last part, I'm going to stand up and do it this side, it's a little bit easier. I've got my flux on there, but a flux on the outside. Okay, we'll go on top. Alright, line it up. And then we're good to go. Alright, fire on. Just wait for it to heat up. Once it starts to bind, then you know it's hot enough. and it'll suck it up into the fitting. We'll just follow it along. Now we have the camera again.
and that is that. That should be working fine. Oh, full of splatter. And that's my parrot sorted. Now I'll give it a bit of a clean up with some sanded paper or some um, uh, steel wool and then give it a dip in my 551 solution and then we are a for away. And that's as easy as it is to make a parrot. Alrighty. Okay, welcome back. Alright, so <clears throat> finished the parrot. I've just given it a good clean with my 551 solution. Um, if you uh, want to see how that's made, check on uh, one of my previous videos on cleaning your store. Uh, it'll give you the recipe there and I'll have a, a link in the, in the comments down below too. Alright, so I'm very chuffed with this, it came out nicely. The base plate is made with a little screw hole so that if he wants to mount it on the wood, he can. Um, his dimensions that he needed, um, so his condenser um, spout will come to here. Um, and that's at about about um, 400 millimeters up and so I'm sitting there bang on 400 I'm very happy with that and then his biggest container is 270 mils from the base and that there is 270 so that's perfect because then it can the lid will be able to fit here and then the, the, the runoff will be inside inside the container so that came out nicely um, um, after giving it a nice clean, um, it's looking really smart. So, like I said, his um, um, alcohol tester will go into here. As the alcohol is is um, stronger, it'll it'll be lower down. You need 240 mils for that, which is also bang on target there. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then as the so the, the, the alcohol will flow into here, it'll fill up this tube and overflow into this um, um, reducer, which is now the little bowl, and then it'll, it'll pour out this side. Maybe I can do a little bit of a, a pour now after, after this and just show you how it's doing without any special effects and stuff. Then the alcohol tester fits in here, that'll bob up and down and show, and then it'll give you a reading as to how strong your alcohol is at that point of the run. Um, and that's that's the main reason why a parrot comes in handy. All right, so Hope you enjoyed the video Don't forget give us a like and a subscribe and uh, share with your friends and We'll see you in the next video Cheers.